now we are learning the algorithm for inserting the element into the link list at the first place so there is the algorithm this is the algorithm and ins ins means insert first at the first position we are going to insert element now we are already aware about the avail list available list is a list which contain the available nodes means which are the free spaces so for this algorithm we need a available list let us suppose that we are having the three blocks and these are the three nodes of the available list we know that every node is having the first part which is the info part this info part contain the information of the element but this is the free list because there is no information as we are saying that available list contain the free space information so that the info part will be empty then the second part is the link this link part is pointing to the address of next node so every link part is pointing to the next node and the last one will be pointing to the null because that is the last and this is the available list which contain the free nodes so here the pointer which is the starting is avail so this one is the available pointer this is the list of the available spaces on which we will not work we will work on our link list so i am taking one more link list which is for our operation means insertion will be there into our link list so let us suppose that we are having these three nodes of a link list so these are the node 1 2 and 3 and every node is having the info part which contain the information of element let us suppose that the element which we are having is 7 3 and 9 so these are some element which are already placed now the second part of every node we are having is the link part now the link part of node 1 is pointing to node 2 node 2 link part pointing to node 3 address and the last node is pointing to null that means it is the empty there is nothing afterward and yes the first node is pointed by the start so this is our link list on which we will perform the operation available list only contain the information of free spaces available so now we are working with this link list here we are having info part link part start available and item so item is that thing which we want to store means let us suppose that there is a number which i am taking as a item Let us suppose that we are having the item which is 11, and at that I want to insert at the first position. So this one is the first position where we want to insert into the link list. That means 11 should be inserted there. Now we are going with the algorithm. This algorithm insert item that means 11 at the first node in the link list. That means at the first place we are going to put this particular 11. So this 11 will be inserted at start here at this position. Now working with the algorithm again, we are having the first line if available is equal to null. Now you understand this thing, the available. right now the available is not null because you can see that this one is the available list and this available list is having the three nodes which is having 1 2 and 3 three nodes are there it is not null but you assume that if avail is null let us suppose this is the avail and this is pointing to null that means there is no node free no space free in the memory then what will happen if you are having no node or no space can you insert element obviously not then we will write overflow overflow means all the memory is full the element cannot be inserted then exit so obviously we will not go further but let us suppose that this case is not here means avail is not equal to null which is the case on which we are working where avail is having one or more than one blocks of the memory as we are having currently then it will go to the line number 2 and here we are saying set new is equal to avail so there is one more pointer which we are taking that is new so now we are having a new new is a pointer which is pointing to avail now you see this new is pointing to avail and avail is pointing to the address of first free node that means this new is now pointing to the first free node so this first free node is now owned by this new pointer afterward we are having the next thing which is mentioned that is avail is equal to link avail now we know that avail is equal to link avail 
द मीनिंग इज दैट वी आर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट नोड यू सी वेयर द अवेल इज पॉइंटिंग अवेल इज पॉइंटिंग टू द फर्स्ट नोड एंड हेयर द लिंक पार्ट दिस इज द लिंक पार्ट दिस इज पॉइंटिंग टू द नेक्स्ट नोड so where the avail will be pointing avail is pointing to the link portion that means the next node so that means first node is now free so this node is now becoming free because avail is now pointing to second node so now the avail is pointing to the second node and yes the new is now pointing to the first node that means first node is r node now then we are going to the step 3 which is saying set info of new the new is pointing to the first node and here info part that means we are talking about this particular block is equal to item so this particular item 11 we are going to put here so in this new node we are going to put the 11 now afterward we are going to the next step step number 4 set link new so we are talking about the link new now so the new is pointing to node number 1 and the link part that means we are talking about this particular pointer is equal to start so this pointer is now pointing to start and where the start is pointing start is pointing to the node 1 that means we have successfully placed the 11 before the node 1 but still the start is also pointing to the node 1 that need to be changed so here the pointer of link part from 1 to 2 that is freed so that means this one is not required this pointer is now free now going to the next step we are having which is 5 set start is equal to new so this start pointer it is pointing to now new and new is pointing where new is pointing to the block 1 so here successfully this start pointer is also modified so now the sixth line exit so here we are going to exit now you see how it is working now if we see the proper working that we was having a available list which is having all the free memory information from that available list we have borrowed or taken one block and named it as new now we have shifted the available list because now this node is in our hand this is the new now we have placed the element inside that new node afterward we have modified the pointers so you can see that if i start from the start pointer then here this start pointer is going to the one one is our node which is having the 11 information then the link part of that that is going back and it is going to the node next node which is having the value 6 and then the link part is going to the next node which is having the value 3 then the link part is going to the next node which is the 9 and that is going to the end null so this is how the element is inserted and yes our now elements are becoming it was earlier 7 3 and 9 now we have successfully inserted one more element which is 11 so this is now our list which contain the elements 11 7 3 and 9 so this is how we can insert a element into the linked list at the first position